turn to page 6 of the SPA booklet B. Before we continue, write down your name, class and index number. Remember to write down today's date. Today, we are going to do a, a word problem. We're going to solve a word problem using a make, making a list. So let's take a look at this word problem. Again, before you begin, check that you have your pencil, a highlighter and also an eraser. Okay? Let's look at the word problem. How many three-digit numbers can be formed using all using the digits three, four, and five? Okay, so the question wants you to, to find out how many three-digit numbers, okay, that means three numbers that can be formed to use using this number three, four, and and five. So step one, let's see the problem. What are the three digits? Looking back at the question, you digits three, four, and five. So let's fill in digits three, four, and five. Next, we highlight or underline the question. Check. Did you do that? Step two, we are going to plan a solution. I need to list out all okay, the three-digit numbers formed beginning with. Okay, so you begin the number with first one, the smallest number, the smallest digit followed by the second smallest digit and the greatest digit. So, looking back at step 1, the digits are 3, 4 and 5. So, I know the smallest digit is 3. The second smallest digit is 4, followed by the greatest digit being 5. Next. Let's flip over to the next page and step three. We are going to act on the problem. Using make a list method. So make a list is a another method. The previous method you used was a guess and check method. So now we are going to make a list. Solve the word problems. All the three digit numbers formed beginning with 3, 4, and 5. So, first, we start with the smallest digit. So, now we are going to list the possible three-digit numbers. So, three-digit numbers, we start with the smallest by the second greatest and the greatest. So, this 345 is my first three-digit number. Next, again, I'm going to start with the smallest digit number. But because I've already have 345, okay, I can rearrange the number and write down 354. Now, I've already used up number 3 as my first number. So, next... I'm going to use the number 4 as the first digit. So I will start with number 4 and then I put 3 and 5. Okay, you realize it's still within this 3 digits, 3, 4 and 5. I still have 3, 4 and 5. And then I can also form another number with this digit starting with 4 and I flip this two numbers becomes 453 and that's all I have for digits starting for numbers that starts with the digit 4 and 
my last, the greatest number, which is 5. So I'm going to start with number 5, followed by the second smallest number, which is 3 and 4. So again, I still have 3, 4 and 5. 3, 4 and 5. The digits are still here. And my next number, again starting with 5, I flip this to around, comes 543. So I've already used up all the digits to form all the numbers. So moving on, how many three-digit numbers can be formed using all the digits 3, 4 and 5? So now we need to find out how many numbers are there. So this is first number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are actually six three-digit numbers that can be formed using all the digits of 3, 4 and 5. Now let's reflect on the solution that we just did. So which method did you use to solve the question? So looking back, we used the make a list method. Make a list method. Full stop. Turning to page 8 of the SPA booklet B, write down your name, class and index number. Remember to write down today's date. Let's solve the word problems. E. Before you continue, check that you have your pencil, your highlighter and an eraser. Use make a list method to help you solve the word problems. Show each step clearly. How many squares, big and small, can you see in the figure below? So, let us try and take a look. Alright, so we all can see that over here, we have one square. Okay, so there's one square here. Over here, we see the other square here, two. We see another square here, so this is the third square, and we see one square here, four. But hang on, let's take a look. If we join all this together, if you realize this whole diagram, if Miss Faiza highlights it, okay, do you see a square? with an orange outline so that means this is the fifth square okay so this is one big square and we have four small squares so let us put a list so we put down four small squares one, two, three, four. And there is one big square. Sorry, four small squares, okay? Because there are more than one. So, I know there's four small squares and one big square. I write down the equation, four plus one, which gives me five. Therefore, there are five big and small squares in the figure. Now we cannot put there are four big and small because it's only four small. Neither can we put one, there are one big and small squares. They want big and small squares. That means they want the total. So it has to be 
five big and small squares in the figure. Turning over to the next page. Okay, question number two. How many three-digit numbers can be formed using all the digits 1, 3, and 7? So, how many three-digit numbers can be formed using the digits 1, 3, and 7? So, just like the question we have attempted just now, okay, when we start, to make a list of these numbers, we always start with the smallest number followed by the second, we start with the smallest digit followed by the second smallest digit and the greatest digit. So, putting down my first number, 1, 3, 7. Then again, starting with the smallest digit, 1, and I flip this two, which becomes 173. Next, my second smallest number is 3. And then I start with the smallest number, which is 1 and 7. So again, remind yourself that 317, it still has these digits 1, 3 and 7 in the number. So, next, again with 3, I flip these two numbers, becomes 371. And then, going into the largest digit is 7, but the smallest and the second smallest digit, which is 1, 3. And again, 7, I flip this to 3 and 1. So, let's count how many three-digit numbers are there. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, we know that 6 3-digit numbers can be formed with using the digits 1, 3, and 7.